Welcome back to Find Love or Die Trying. I hope you guys are having a really good day. And if not, I hope this makes your day a little better. I um hmm, still didn't know who to choose. So I'm going to choose the least likely person that I'd probably end up with. And that is Tara. Because Tara just seems a little weird. Uh, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you like it helps me out and leave a comment. I don't know. Say hi. I'll say hi back. I promise. Um, I don't remember which game I could, I could press the buttons and stuff with. Is this that? Nope. Tara. All right. We'll make it happen. <sighs> oh, why did she sigh? It's so weird to see Kat with a sad face. It's always weird to see her with a sad face. As I walk across, uh, as I walk across, Jesus, as I walk closer and closer to the game room, I could hear people screaming bloody murder. Help. You're not going anywhere. Then get like a raspy voice like this. Oh, this is going to kill my voice today. Because let me tell y'all, I, I feel like crap. I didn't wake up till 10. I usually wake up at 5 in the morning. I didn't wake up till 10. My sinus has been acting up. My nose has been stuffy all day. I have not been feeling good. Take him. I'm too young to die. Are these the brother 5 or the brother 4? or Is it 4 or 5 of them? I can't remember if it's 5 of them or 4 of them. I rush inside as fast as I could. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Click clackies. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I forgot. The brother's four or five. It's, it's somebody missing. I think it's four or five. I don't think it's three. We've got a brother who was... What kind of brother would sacrifice his own flesh and blood to survive? Life is tough, Buttercup. No! I'll save you, bro. Bro! Ah! It's the heroes that die first, you know. Bro! <laughs> Where was I? Oh, right. One down, two to go. Get over here. Oh, God, look at her face. She's so adorable, but she's, she's scary. They were playing a fighting video game. Oh, sup, Johnny? <clears throat> Wrong voice. I almost gave her cat's voice. Give me a second. I got to do a bit of pest control. One and three. Kill him first. Hmm. I'm going to sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze. I'm good. And that was it, right? Oh, my goodness. Look at her. Is that potato chips? She's eating pockies. Are they called pockies? The little stick things with the... Stuff on the end of it, 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 it looks like a pocky and chips. All right, all right, y'all lost fair and square. As promised, you guys know what you have to do. Their brothers fly grown as they, each of them put some kind of futuristic helmet, put on a futuristic helmet. Uh, you're incredible, Tara. You're incredible, Tara. Oh no, my phone's ringing. Yeah, it's nobody important. <laughs> you decimated those guys without breaking a sweat I do make a living doing this believe it or not though lately it's been a little boring why's that it's just the same old same old you know though I do have something new in store if you're down uh Uh, I'm down. I'm down for anything. Don't ever say that because you'll end up with a hot dog in your butt cheeks. Don't ever say something like that. I'm down for anything. Good. I'm just going to need you to put on this non-suspicious at all headset. 
Tara picked up a helmet from behind the couch and placed it on my head. This won't hurt a bit. Don't worry. Wait, why would it? Oh, Jesus. It was like lightning ran through my head. Wow, look at this place. I'm in some kind of forest? Whoa. Oh, whoa. Johnny, you're here too? Where are we? I want to go home. Oh, stop whining. You're just in a video game. Come on, it isn't the first time you've seen this happen in fiction. What kind of thing? I'm gonna sneeze. <sighs> that kind of thing exists now. Sorry. I thought I was gonna sneeze. I'm, I'm good. It's been around for at least a million years by now. Get with the times. Uh, last time I checked, I've never heard of anything like this. All right, all right. So maybe it was some weird kind of weird device I'd never seen before. Can you blame me for wanting to try to mess with it? Wait, there's no way that this could be a game. It looks too real. I had to admit. I had my doubts too. Everything looked as if they were really there. Hey, if you want proof, just try walking outside of the forest. Two took a few cautious steps forward, then some more. Oof! <laughs> he smacked against some kind of invisible wall. There's some kind of invisible wall here. <laughs> you know what I just thought about? The helmet that Cat put on us. What if that's the helmet? <laughs> and she's gonna kill us, watch. It really is a video game, huh? Actually, that's the wall of the game room. I thought that this console would be a little more deep dive sort of virtual reality video game too, but it seems like everything you do here is replicated in the real world. Walk too many steps in a certain way and Whack and smack, sorry. Doesn't that make this kind of useless? I guess, if you're allergic to fun. The sound of the intercom played through the forest. Hey, can you guys hear me? Cat, we can hear you, what's up? You guys need to log out of that game right now. <clears throat> Got choked up a little bit. If you're in the game too long, it'll fry your brain. What? How? Why? Uh, long story short, it's experimental. How do you say game console? <laughs> Jesus, cat. That we had in storage. No idea how Tara found it, though. <laughs> the show is always trying to find a new way to kill me, isn't it? How much time do we have? Before it fries your brain? I don't know. Maybe a few minutes, maybe a several hours, but it'll slowly zap your insanity. Oh, your sanity. Jesus. The longer you're in there, just log out already. We don't know how. The brothers five and I look frantically, but there, was, <laughs> but there wasn't any way for us to log out. Oh, I don't think you guys can see the log out menu. I think it's an admin only kind of thing. Tara can freaking see it, Jesus. If you can see it, if you can see it, Tara, sorry, wrong person, I thought it was me. If you can see it, Tara, then come on, log this out already. She cackled like a B-movie maniac. Something tells me she didn't have much sanity to zap, to sap in the first place. But it'd be a shame to leave so soon. Let's play a game first. Oh my god, Tara, don't kill me. Don't make me going crazy. Don't make me go crazy. It just so happens that as admin, I can change all of your avatars at will. Check this out. Bam! Oh god. I look down at my hands, which have now became tiny little wings. I look down at my face. I have a beak? I became a bird. Oh, God. Oh, oh, sorry, wrong person. I thought that was just me. Oh, God. What did she do to us? We're pigeons. Let me out. 
We'll never become a t accountants now. We're gonna die here. I think I found a new fetish. <laughs> five corner, Jesus. Go and get in the corner. Pigeons five ran around frantically like chickens with their heads cut off. I can't blame them. I look up at Tara who seems like a giant compared to us now. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why I turned you all into birds. I guess you could say that. It's funny, Johnny. Earlier they told me this whole show was like a date. You told me this whole show was like a dating sim, except you were in the driving seat. Now that she was on the other foot. She cackled again like a wicked witch. Beca Welcome to a pigeon dating sims battle royale. <laughs> you have to seduce me if you want to get out of here. Oh my god, Tara, who wants to be seduced by a pigeon? With each day that passes, I fear more for humanity's future. And you wanted us to be pigeons for this? I mean, yeah, the ratio of human to pigeon visual novels is totally out of whack, man. I figured we should balance that out. Oh my god. I'm trapped in a killer virtual reality game. I'm also trapped in a killer dating show. So make matters worse, I'm also trapped in a body of a pigeon. Now I need to seduce a woman with my avian charm? Oh my God. Tara, this is why I didn't choose you the first time. You can imagine these kind of, the kind of stress I'm under. Now, seduce me. Oh God. One by one, the pigeons five fire pickup lines after pickup lines at Tara, but to no avail. Come on, come on. Move your little wings like you mean it. I tried my hand in a few or two, but it was clear that I had no effect. I can't imagine that being a pigeon helped with that in any way. Hmm. Let's try one more. How about Damn, girl, you're hot, or you're hoot. <laughs> you're hoot, like an owl. Dang, girl, you're looking so fly. No. Dang, girl, you more addicted than quack. <laughs> you're more addicted than quack. That's the one. That's the one right there that's going to get the panties moist. That one right there. With my will to live at an all-time low, I... Huh? The game went dark. A moment later, we were back in the game's room. The game room, sorry. What? We're back, thank God. I've got fingers. I can write. I can fill out balance sheets. Aw, just when it was getting good. Everybody's excited. I mean, everybody's scared except for freaking four. Wait, is something burning? The game console had smoke coming from it. Guess it's toast. What happened? My mind's all foggy. You okay, Tara? I'm gonna take a nap. She jumped on the couch and, oh, and within seconds, was fast asleep. Jesus, I wish I could fall asleep like that. I had such a terrible time last night going to sleep. It was crazy, you guys. I was just, ugh. I had a terrible night. The brothers five and I decided that it wouldn't be best to never talk about this again. Thank God we got out of here, Jesus. Cause that was crazy. And Tara's a tad bit psycho herself. I stumbled back to my room and plopped onto the bed. Who be coming at this hour? Of course. We know, we know it's cat. I shuffled over in a haze. <sighs> hey there, Johnny. Sorry to bother you so late. It's all right. What's up, cat? Don't mind me. Just gonna make your gonna make myself real comfortable. <sighs> Again with her butt on my pillow. Cat, like, go away, cat. Cat walked by me and comfortably set herself on my bed. I really got to give one of these beds for myself already. I closed the door and then sat facing her on the opposite side of the bed. 
So what brings you here tonight? Can't stop thinking about me? Hmm? You wish. Unfortunately, it's my job to help you survive until the end of the show. And that means checking on you. <laughs> no sneeze. I'm good. Checking in with you. Sorry, and it's checking in with you. And that means checking in with you every night to see how you're doing and making sure you're doing your best on ratings. That's nice of you. Thanks, Kat. Well, to be honest, I don't have a choice. Finding a new person to take your place would be a recruiting nightmare. Oh, God. <sighs> Something tells me that Kat knows more than what she's letting on and that Somehow, just somehow, Cat might be more involved with me than anything. Back to what I'm here for. Your day to day with Tara was a rating knockout. Honestly, I've got no idea what to say about your day to day with Tara. Except that I'm surprised everyone thought it was a good one. Can you really be picky when your life's on the line? I guess not. That said, I'm hoping we can sprinkle a little more drama into the show. More romance, love triangles, and less pigeons. <laughs> I'm with Kat for the one. Like, I'm with you on that one. I don't want more pigeons in, in dating pigeon simulators. I'm good. Tomorrow, I want you to find your second soulmate candidate is. Find out who. Who, sorry, who your second Soviet candidate is and ask them on a date instead. Um, okay, I mean, it's the same thing that we did last time. All right, sounds good to me. I would have expected you to want to spend more time with Tara tomorrow, but I guess you understand the situation. Oh God, the music change. I hate when music change in visual novels because it always means something either deep is about to happen, something scary is about to happen, or just something weird is going to happen. Without those ratings getting higher and higher every day, the acts the show and your life with it. I guess that makes sense in some warped way. I'm impressed at how well you took that. It's almost as if wasn't your first time on a life or death killing dating show. I mean, see, that right there tells me, Kat, you know, you know, this is like, she's, you know that I know and you know, you know. Well, that's pretty much all what I needed to tell you. It's getting late and we both got big days tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Night, Johnny. Good. <sighs> she was gone before I could I had a chance to finish. Guess it's time to call it a night. Another one of these weird dreams. The way the sound of waves. Hey. I can hear her, <laughs> I can hear her call out to me within the dream. It's you. Whoop! <sighs> I told y'all, every time the music changes in a visual novel, something scary is about to happen. I love you, Johnny. I always will. I always love you. I'll always love you too, sorry. What if it's Cat? No, no, I'm not going to jump ahead. I just That's just my thought, is that I feel like it might be Cat that... Is this girl? My mouth move on its own. Even if there's many other women on the show, they could never, they could never be you. That's me, sorry. I held her tight and kissed her. You promise? I promise. Promises are unbreakable, you know. That's what you told me. That one didn't scare me. I meant every word I said. She smiled. You better have. <sighs> Your face is becoming clearer to me with every day that goes by. I know you're here with me, but which one are you? It has to. Oh, hold on. Wow. You guys see I prepared myself for the chapter change thing and it didn't do it. That's crazy. Okay. 
We kicked off our morning with a delicious meal made by Violet. So, uh, so, sorry, wrong person. Tell me more about this dream, Tara. I don't really remember much, but I was in a video game and I was getting hit on by lots of pigeons. Oh, well, how am I supposed to respond to that? What if it was a sign? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> it was a dream. Nothing more. Don't see how... <laughs> Allie had a devilish grin on her face. Of course she did. I think it is a sign, Tara. It's a sign that you should make... You should be try making video games. Sorry, wrong. Blah. Got tongue-tied. The world needs more pigeon dating sims. You're right. There's no time to waste. <laughs> Tara ran off. Jesus. Oh my. Are you certain that this is a good idea to spur on her? Of course. Seriously, what's the worst that could happen? I felt a chill run down my spine. Oh God. We're getting more pigeon dating sims. They're all pretty. They're even cat. I'm like, I'm not going to lie. Even cat's pretty. So I wouldn't mind it even being cat. I just don't think I want it to be Tara. It could be Yui, too. I don't care about it being Yui. I just don't want it to be Tara. Tara's the only one that, like, kind of scares me. And even now, after this date, I didn't feel closer to her. I just felt more scared. <laughs> That's all. There you are, Johnny. I've been looking all over for you. It's time to decide who the second soulmate candidate. Cat moved in closer to Whisper. Not like you really have a choice, though. So without further ado, Johnny, who's the unlucky girl? And I'm going to stop right there, too. I'd like to spend some time today with, and I'll leave it up to you guys, as always. Um, thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. Tara's crazy. Um, this is getting very interesting. I do believe that if it is not somebody like Allie, if it's not Violet, or even Scarlet. If it's not Scarlet, then it's Cat. It's definitely Cat. It's I, I just feel within my spirit that it has to be Cat. And if not, then you know, I like surprises anyway. So thank you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye.